Well, we are back to the Adama Science and Technology University for another match this afternoon in the ongoing uh, Ethiopian Premier League where Mekela Kea, the team that is uh, in the 12th position on the log, is just about to get onto the field. Actually, they are 11th at the moment. Uh, they will be taking on a team uh, that is at the bottom of the log called the Sebeta Keteba team for Sebeta. Lob directly into the hands of the goalkeeper. It looked dangerous, but it doesn't trouble Clement Boy at all. He's going to start it from his own side for Mekela Kea. It looks dangerous, but it was so easy for goalkeeper there. Ah, okay. Good ball now to Bismarck up here. Up here, he rolls, but then he misses the ball. They've picked it up again. And Subisha gets into the way one more time. I think Nsibambi was trying to control it to come back on the other side. Subisha thought he should have been the scorer. The first strike was missed by Bismarck up here. What do you make of the move? This is a perfect move. Shows how disoriented that defense is. And again, communication should have been key between between Apia and uh, jersey number seven. Well, cut back nicely into a 45. The shot misses the target. How does Teshome shoot away from there? The Mekalakea fans were already on their feet, uh, knowing that this was going to go into the net. Uh, it was cut very nicely into a 45. He's in a vantage position. How does the shot not get on target, Peter? As uh, Sebeta come out on the right. This one is right in front of goal. Just takes the top netting. He doesn't angle it down. But Dressa Shubisha certainly now in the right position for receiving of that. And causes the drumbeat to stop. Yes, again, as we said, very good service coming from the right. The captain bring it. Very nice one, but he gets the header totally wrong, did everything right. The ball just refused to go into the net. This one is angled towards the goal area and parried out of the field of play. Looked very, very meek, but ended up being dangerous from Girum Hagos, who then turns it towards the goal area. Uh, the goalkeeper, the president Arlo, knows that that ball is dipping and decides to pip it out in time, Peter. He was actually going for the head, but the goal got his shoulder. Oh. And and deviated in a different direction. A hard one going towards the goalkeeper. Just manages to have his hands on it, Clement Boye. But a good shot directly. It dummies as if it's going to come to the other side. But then he goes for a direct shot, knowing the goalkeeper is slightly away from this near post here. It forces Boye to run and make himself very, very, very elastic to get there. Does Hagos have the technique? He does, but he doesn't dip on time. He goes over the bar. It's got the power, it's got the speed as well. Only the precision lacked. Everything was done well, but a, a, a bit exaggerated in terms of power. Uh, and seems to have brought in some fresh legs as well in the midfield to be able to run on. Sebeta getting a shot here, not beating Boy from that distance. It will, it's going to be very difficult. You can only beat him on an intelligent kind of shot towards goal. Oh, but yes, these sir. ones that are going directly are not going to trouble him. Not many goalkeepers are troubled by such balls, especially if he puts his body behind it. It's very difficult to beat him from there. Give away a nice free kick that almost goes into the net if it wasn't for the very long hands of uh, Clement Boye, denying Sibabi a chance to be able to get onto the score charts. Nice header as well from Sibabi. Oh, he, yes. he, was, he was pretty sure that this one was going away from Clement Boye. Nice delivery. Perfect header, no offside. He got to the ball before it crossed. He's on the left side and has crossed the line at the least expected time. Uh, they're going out onto the left side and then a through ball uh, and a left foot shot. Zimbabwe touches it on his right boot, slides full length uh, to get onto it. Boy, he cannot do anything about that, even if he had touched it. It would still have been pushed in by an advancing Zekarias Fikre. But at the moment, Paolo's uh, Derek Zimbabwe, the Ugandan, will be the toast of the Sabeto side. And the coach will love him until the next game. Mekela Kea, Neil Sabeta 1.